Now another thing kind of going on with that background app refresh and locations thing, another major thing that takes up a lot of battery life sometimes is notifications. You know, you, if you have a ton of apps that are sending you a lot of notifications, most of the time that'll suck up a lot of battery life because the app has to refresh in the background, utilize that phone's memory and all that stuff. So in order to disable these and you know, limit these. You want to go into your settings panel. You want to go into notifications, and right here you'll see a bunch of different apps. Now you can enable and disable the Siri suggestions too. I'm sure that'll probably save a little bit, maybe. But if you scroll down all the way over here, if you limit the amount of notifications that these apps are allowed to send, that'll save up a little bit of battery life down the road. So if I scroll here and if I go into health, for example, now I wouldn't recommend turning this off, but this is just an example. This is not my main phone, by the way. You can go ahead and disable it by clicking allow notifications, and that'll enable it so this specific app won't be able to refresh in the background and all that stuff, and it'll save me more battery life down the road. I can go do the same exact thing with all these different apps, and I've already turned them off for Nova Legacy, PUBG, different apps like that, but you can turn them off for all those different apps. Now, if you're somebody who uses Snapchat, Instagram, all those things, then turning those off will inevitably not give you those notifications so if somebody snaps you or somebody dms you on instagram you won't get those apps and you won't get those notifications on your screen so don't disable those if you use them but if you're somebody who doesn't use them then obviously go and disable those so that's a major one too